So you have itchy skin and you're in perimenopause menopause? Remember, women's health is super behind in our research. Now this is a snippet from an adhesive capsulitis article, but hear me out. It kind of sets how we think about women's health. To our knowledge, there are no clinical studies evaluating testosterone, estrogen, luteinizing hormone, or follicle stimulating hormone levels in patients who develop adhesive capsulitis. Take that sentence and apply it to many other symptoms that we would have as women during perimenopause and menopause. And this is why I am thankful for this. Jill Biden announcing the White House initiative on women's health research. You guys, the research I do as a, as a women's health specialist is all pro bono. I do it for free. I make no money. I give of my time. I could have been making money. I cancel patients to fit in research. I am a weirdo and most people would never do that because nobody's going to work for free and nobody wants to fund women's health research because they just don't. But the White House is calling for women's health research and that means there will be funding, which means we could someday find answers. Now, Dr. Marie Claire Haver talks about itchy ears and says, if you take a small bit of your estrogen cream and put it on a Q-tip and put it in your ear, it will help your itchy ears. Because remember, estrogen helps everything stay plump and hydrated. Your ears have skin. Uh, you can't exactly moisturize that very well, can you? But you could with a tiny bit of estrogen cream on a Q-tip.